So today I'm meeting with a brand new real estate partner that came to me through YouTube and he has finally saved up his first little bit of money for buying his first property. He's actually already owned real estate through the Maverick program, but now he's doing so well, making so much money, he wants to know, okay, Chris, I got this money, what happens? So we're gonna go introduce him, I'm gonna introduce him to the team, and today you get to be a fly on the wall and actually watch what it looks like for a young 22-year-old to actually go through the process of becoming a serious investor and crushing it on his first deal. Check it out. Cause we're gonna be What's up, brother? My man. Dude, are you doing, excited? Oh, so excited. Let's do this. Dude, 22. Yes, sir. Now you've already owned some homes, so now this is going to become way more fun because oh, yeah. this is you now buying. Yep. Dude, come on in. So come meet the team. We've got Tyler. we got Cynthia. we got Corey. Well, how are you doing? Good, Good to meet you. you. Hi, Cole. Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay, Cole, why don't we just sit you here at the head of the table? You're the boss man today. Let's do it. And um, what we're going to do, team, is I want to set some expectations for Cole. This is essentially helping kick it off for him to know what does it look like to actually get in the game of real estate and start actually getting going. Sweet. Now, just a little bit by way of introduction, it wasn't too long ago you got started with the Maverick program. Yes, sir. For those that don't know, what does that mean? It means that I found people that are interested in investing and I had the proximity to a man that's done thousands and thousands of different deals and I just introduced them and now I have 25% of every deal that they've done. Yeah, so in essence what that means is he went to some of his beautiful family members and said, hey, listen, you gotta check out what this guy is doing. They decided to partner with me. We've now bought four homes together and Maverick program basically means that my 50% ownership, I share with the person that brought them my way. I'm doing this as a huge give back. Something I don't have to do, it's something I want to do, it's something I feel called to do. It's to help more people get empowered. And you, my friend, own four homes officially younger than I ever bought my first home. Yes, sir. So dude, that is, that is super exciting. <laughs> it is. Now, Cole, when you came to me, you had no money, and now in a short period of time, you've saved up how much money? I got 30 grand. You got $30,000 in wondering, basically. All right. I'm no longer just passively doing it through my family. Yep. I got some money, let's get up and go. Yes, sir. And not just 25% owner, now 50% owner as we partner and get rolling. Let's do you it. Excited? Oh, I'm so excited. Awesome. Okay, well, let me just kind of set the stage here. By the way, this is a super exciting moment for anyone. I remember how I felt when I bought, do you remember when you started yeah. investing and buying properties? Like, yeah. it, it was such an amazing feeling. For those of you guys that don't know, Tyler is the acquisitions director here, has helped me purchase thousands of homes you know, you've got your own game plan. You've shared it on my stage numerous times. Do you remember what it felt like when you were like buying your first homes and felt like, hey, I'm doing something for my future? Yeah, and you know what I love about the difference between then and now, Chris, is back then when Chris and I started buying houses, we were your age, but we didn't have access to something like this. So we were just buying houses because we knew we should be buying houses. Right but we didn't understand how that house was gonna impact us five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. Yeah. What we get to talk about today is, is buying houses now, but what that means in the long run. Okay. And knowing what that looks like and how powerful it is enables you to be so much more disciplined and focused as we go through right now. And it's gonna make you wanna put on the gas. Yeah. And buy as many as you can, as Let's fast as you can. So check it out. Here's what's gonna happen here. We're just gonna create a little bit of a game plan um, I'm going to have Cynthia, for example. Cynthia is going to be assigned to work with you. She's going to be liaison portfolio manager. Yeah. So Cynthia is actually connected to Tyler's team, working with Corey and everybody else, and essentially pulling all the pieces together because the reality is, I mean, there's hundreds of hours that go into each purchase that you don't have to worry about because you've got an expert team doing all that work. You excited? Yeah, very excited, yeah. Um, but it can be complicated. If you're talking to property managers and then rehab people and, and tenants, that's when it gets overwhelming, especially when we're going into the best markets out of state where it gets juicy. And so we don't want that to happen because I've seen this happen over and over again. You take a brand new, fresh-minded, excited investor, and if they get overwhelmed or if they wear too many of the wrong hats and then they get frustrated or they start losing money and they don't know how to cope with it, then they decide they're out of the game. But someone like Tyler, you've been investing for how long? Yeah, 16 years. 16 years, and your goal has been to basically buy a house for every single year of those working lives. Yep, I've got 19, so. He's got 19 little ahead of pay. Ahead of right now, <laughs> and your goal is to get them essentially all paid off. Yep. So Tyler is well on the way in his personal game plan. He's been able to actually make it through the heartburn, the heartache, and the pain that we had to go through when we got started because we said we're gonna build a team to make it easy. 
Cynthia right there, she is your gal for when you have accounting questions, questions on anything. Perfect. She's gonna find the people, the information, and you're only gonna have to deal with her. And she's beautiful, phenomenally, so good at what she does. So she's gonna be portfolio manager. You should shake your hand again. She's gonna be your best friend in the whole process. So are you ready for Thank this, Nicole? I'm very ready, I'm okay, so excited. So what we're gonna do next is have you watch all the partner videos. We're gonna send you to pre-qual to make sure we know what you qualify for. And then we're gonna have you talk to Tyler and the acquisitions team. Awesome. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. So we've got a couple hours worth of training videos. On my YouTube channel, I got a playlist called Partner with Chris, Partnering with Chris. And all of those videos are designed to help you understand all the little details. Okay. Team's gonna run it all. I want you to appreciate it, but then I also want you to understand because you're the decision maker here. Right. That's We're right. gonna go out and build it and do it, but when it comes time to buy, sell, turn one home into two homes, etc., we want you to be empowered with knowledge to know what you're doing. Okay. So Cynthia's right, we're gonna have you watch those videos. Um, Pre-qualification, we wanna take a look basically at Cole's credit and find out is your credit going to be um, enough? You know, can we use your credit to buy property? Do, you know, if we don't, we have alternatives and other options to look at. Okay. So we're gonna go through pre-qualification and then we gotta be super clear on what's the heading? What's the game plan? So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. I'm gonna have Tyler tag team a little bit as we just kind of help you understand that today. Uh, so, right now, Cole, you're coming in with probably one of the lowest denominations that we really like to see when someone gets in the game. The reality is we find single family homes from time to time in our strong markets that can require as little as $20,000. Okay. They do not come up very often. They're pretty rare. But guess what? Not everyone has that need. So with a little bit of patience, Tyler, are we going to find it? Oh yeah, we'll get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Right now, we're not gonna be going into our growth markets like Florida, we're probably gonna be going into our cash flow markets. Right. Tyler, what kind of average ROI would you say we're seeing on a home in Indy or Memphis where we're putting $20,000 down? Really, eight to 11, I would say nine, 10% cash on cash ROI uh, is what we're seeing just out the gate. So your ROI is gonna be, on your cash on cash, it's gonna be nine to 10%, which is a couple of points stronger than we see in Florida. Correct. So that's a good positive thing. Um, what about overall ROI with appreciation and growth mm -hmm. and principal reduction? So now you're looking at, really there's two points to that. One is the principal reduction or the principal pay down. Okay. As you go, I call it deferred cash flow because you're guaranteed to get it back down the road. That represents another four to 5%. So that gets you closer to 15%. And let me break that down. Every time we make a payment, the bank says most of this payment is for interest. Right. Some of it is for principal. And I think we're finding typically that four or 5% yeah. actually will come back to us in that ROI. Okay. So on top of the nine to 10 cash on cash, we're looking at four to 5% that we call principal reduction. You make your payments every year, it's like a bank account. Yeah. And we're gonna get that money back. So we're gonna factor that in. Yep. What's, what's the final so, component? So the final one is now appreciation. Right. And so we project out appreciation conservatively in each of the markets that we're in. And then we forecast if you were to sell this home in five years and 10 years, we add in all the cash on cash, the cash flow, the deferred cash flow, and then the equity gain, okay. combine it, divide it out by the number of years you own the house, that adds in an additional, anywhere from about 15 to 20%, Chris, okay. awesome. is, is what you can expect from the appreciation standpoint. So now you're getting into that 30 to 35% overall ROI number. And the expectation that I wanna set with you is we're looking at deals and that you'll see in this, you know, hold of that document. We, we've yeah. taken the last several yeah. thousand deals We've documented the whole strategy, what we're doing. And frankly, Cole, you already know this, but the biggest reason why people from all over the world want to partner mm -hmm. is because this overall number, if we can be hitting a number like making 25% of your mm -hmm. under money, you're doing something a 401k, an IRA, a savings account, home equity cannot do for you. Yeah. Bottom line is most people don't financially end up where they want because they stash all their money in places with such a low ROI. And if you understand, have you ever heard of the rule of 72? Yeah. Rule 72 says basically you take any interest rate, divide it into 72, and it'll tell you how many years it will take to double your money. Right. Typical 401k IRA takes 20 years to double. With this, you could be doubling your money in a matter of years, three, four, five years as opposed to waiting. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing this now for the last 16 years and basically people keep coming back and buying more homes because this isn't get rich quick, but here's the goal. We want this house to make babies. Mm -hmm. We want one house in time, to become two houses, Absolutely. and then later we want them to do the same thing and become four houses, eight houses. So by the time you're 40 years old, right, you're actually sitting on a whole portfolio of homes like Tyler is, 
helping his financial future, your family out, and all those things. That's awesome. Does that make sense? Yep. And uh, one thing I would add to that is that's really powerful about this is you're going to be making 10 to 15% from cash flow. And you still have upsides of 25 to 30%, right? Overall, most people, if they want to target 25 to 30% ROI, mm -hmm. they have to expose themselves to a ton of risk. But our risk is offset from that cash flow. Yeah. Up, down, flat market, that cash flow is there. And so we can ride out any market fluctuations. Um, we're recession proof with this strategy, but you have the potential to hit a home run without having to strike out along the way nearly as much as others that are trying to home, hit home runs with their ROIs. So Cole, let me share with you where we're going from here. And for those of you watching this, here's what I want you to walk away with. Cole is doing something right now that we look forward to doing with people everywhere, helping you actually have your inaugural experience of buying your first home. I wanted today to actually make a whole video out of it and say, you're meeting the all-star team. These are the people that all collectively work with the rest of the power team of 200 plus experts to do all the work that frankly we don't want to do, but we want the gains, we want the upside, and we want the growth. And for you, bottom line is if you can just find a way to start with a house, that is the beginning to creating two homes and then four homes and then eight homes and then 16 homes. And you know, right now this year, we're buying a lot of real estate. We're growing a lot of portfolios and it is super exciting. So I want to end with giving you some very specific advice. Yes, sir. The best advice that I can give you that I want you guys to actually witness and see, because this is as real as it gets when I bring on a new partner yeah. is number one, I have zero tolerance for passive aggressive behavior. In other words, there's lots that you don't know, but because your mind doesn't know it, it wants to fill in the gaps and it wants to sometimes perceive things, hopefully accurately, but it's gonna get it wrong. Children, when they don't know stuff, they're really great observers, but they're not great interpreters. Mm -hmm. You're a baby in real estate right now because you're just, you're just, you're new at it, right? Until I bought my first 25 homes, I thought I knew what was up and half the time I did, but half the time what I didn't know was far more dangerous than I, than I was aware of. And so number one, we're just gonna create a new right now, rule right now, no passive aggressive. That means you have something to say and that means it needs to be said, it needs to be communicated because the way that we're gonna set this up is you have 30,000 set aside, 20,000 is gonna be the down payment. We're gonna put 10 whole thousand dollars in, a, in the business bank account we set up in our LLC. This is called a SWAN account. It's a sleep well at night account. Because right. I can tell you something, in the first year, this property will probably lose instead of breaking even. All of that cash flow is just gonna go to the fact that there were vacancies the first year and there was a handful of repairs and we have an incomplete first year. Very different than how we walk into year two, three, four, and five. So, you know, you look at that and you're gonna be like, wow, what happens if I have to pay for a repair or do this or that? We are prepared three times more money than we really need to manage this account. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Okay, so not only do we want to have no passive aggressive, but number two, we want to have good communication. And we can't read your mind, especially ladies if you're watching. <laughs> we can't read your mind, so if you have a question, the biggest thing that you do, the most important thing that I would ask is that you call Cynthia. You now have her phone number, you have her email, um, you can communicate directly with her. She's the one, if you have a question on anything, mm -hmm. Cynthia is where the buck stops. And yeah. what's great about Cynthia and our team is that she's gonna be responsive, she's gonna answer your questions, she's gonna help you get the missing information so that we can get the mindset right. The reason why we say no passive aggressive is because if you get a quarterly report and you misinterpret something or don't understand something and you sit on it for two months, it festers and then it becomes toxic. And you know what? I don't need that in my life. I love you, but I don't need toxic in my life. So I basically say, when you don't understand, ask questions, be an excellent communicator. And if you do those two rules right there, we're gonna freaking win in such a huge way. Awesome. But now here's the game plan. Is this get rich quick? No. No, I think it is get rich fast, but it's not get rich quick mindset. It's not, you know, one of the most dangerous things that people do is they throw that money out and then they want it to like create a massive, you know, you know result so quickly. And the reality is finding something that can consistently do that is, is, is hard to find. Yeah. So you can get some quick wins, but if you demand it all the time, Every quick win is going to set you up for thinking you can do it again until you have a quick loss. Instead, what we want to do here is we have a long-term game plan. And the long-term is this. Once you go in real estate, you're going to never want to leave. And here's the reason why. This year you own real estate, guess what will happen to your tax advantages? They're going to go up. Your taxable income is going to go down. Your cash flow is going to increase. 
your savings accounts are gonna get fatter. Then in time, we're gonna have one home become two, two become four, four become eight. What we're really doing is working towards a legacy that says, hey, when you're 50 and 60 years old, you're, you're putting money in charities, you're donating, you're doing cool things, you're taking wonderful trips with your family, and you're able to advance some of the finer things of life to yourself because of this long-term instead of short-term thinking. Right. You're thinking, I can give you one marshmallow today or I'll give you 10 marshmallows if you can wait 10 minutes. And it's like, <laughs> wait and get a way bigger reward than that immediate. Awesome. Does that make sense? Yep. So this whole long-term function that a lot of people miss out on is, while it's not get rich quick, you give this thing 10 years and it can produce some exciting results. So along with that long-term thinking, I, what I want you to do is I want to challenge you to save 40% of your income. Most people would say, Chris, it's too big of a number. That's impossible. That's way too hard. I want you to get in the habit while you're young and don't have other obligations and children and all that stuff yet. Right. Save 40% minimum of what you make. Your biggest bill you'll ever have in life will be to the government. And if they can exact up to 40%, then why don't you deserve to pay yourself that same 40% at least? That. Save that 40% and instead of just waiting for one home to become two and two to become four, have a goal of how you can put your own active money you're earning into your next deal. That's what's gonna supercharge it and give you more of an exponential growth curve. That's the plan. Now, it's up to you what you do with that information, but ultimately here, the more houses, the merrier. We wanna see you be as merry as possible. So which means, <laughs> which means buy as many homes as possible. Stay focused, this is the game plan. Does it make sense? Yes, sir. Dude, are you excited? Oh, I'm so pumped. Do you have any questions for the team here? It's all making sense, and of course I'm gonna have questions along the way, but like you said, like, I'm not afraid to ask. I'm not that kind of person, so I'll be hitting that for a while. Yeah, Sweet. give us a call. <laughs> so basically what he's gonna be doing next is go to that playlist. By the way, for you, if you're like, wow, I could actually get out there and partner with Chris. I cannot promise that to everyone. In fact, I can't promise it to most people because we have a vetting process. Cole came to us through a very strategic vetting process to know that he had the right mindset. He's come out to one of my events. He's received the, the financial psychology training and a lot of the financial training. So if you think that that might be a path you want to learn about, there is a video series below. It's Chris's partnering playlist. Watch the first video. See if it connects with you. See if it resonates. There's more information on how we can play together. But that's where you get the details of what it is to actually build a lot of wealth with time. You're an example of starting with the lowest combination of one home, yep. and we want to see how many we can turn it into. So he's got his homework. You've got your homework. Thank you guys, by the way, for coming and being here today. And Cole, dude, so pumped for you to not get us to get your next house, but your next 10. Oh, easy. Awesome. Sure. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.